Hi guys, I'm Steven, and today I'm going to show you how the rod as well as the latch or flush bolt on Pinky's iron doors work. I'm also going to show you how you can service these easily at home yourself. Before we look into that, we're going to have to learn how these actually work. Now, if you had an x-ray of this door right here, you would see these few parts. You have your latch and your rod, and your rod actually sits inside of a barrel inside of here. So once we actually take off the door, you'll see how little clearance there is around this rod inside of that barrel. That's really nice for the feel of the door because it's nice and tight and it doesn't move when you actually have it closed. However, it can make it a little bit more difficult to latch and unlatch these if you don't wiggle the door a little bit to find the hole in the jam. So I'll show you what I mean right now by that. So this hole in the bottom of the door jam is actually the perfect size for this rod to go through. It's not too big, and so it won't work if the rod is over here, or here, or here, or anywhere around. It needs to be a perfect fit. Now this process can actually be especially difficult if your door isn't level. It's very unlikely that this latch is actually broken unless it was forced without actually finding the hole first. These pieces are made of metal, however, they're also made with precision and they need to be handled with that in mind. The two main issues that you can have with this part can actually be diagnosed with the same test. On a double door, we'll keep this dummy door open and we'll actually just try to engage the latch. Now if you're already having issues with it right off the bat and it feels stuck, you likely have one of a few issues. Your barrel itself could be jammed with debris or previous debris could have already damaged the rod. It's also possible that the sweep at the bottom of the door has gotten misaligned from installation. So to check this, we can actually use this latch and see if the rod is passing through this sweep down here. If it's not, you'll actually see the rod pressing down on the sweep towards the floor and it won't be getting through or it'll be very difficult. To fix this, you can actually just grab this sweep at the bottom of the door shift it around until the hole in it aligns with the rod and it easily passes through. You can go ahead and close up your door, see if it latches all the way, and if it does, then your problem is solved, and that's awesome. If it doesn't, and if this latch isn't just hard to use on its own anyways, then we'll have to move on to the last part of our test, close up both of our doors, and take a look at the top corners. So for single doors, if your hinge side is hanging lower than the lock side, or for double doors, if the two sides on the top are not perfectly matched up, one side is a little higher than the other, then unfortunately, your door is likely not level. Now, these doors right here match up at the top, and the space at the top of them is exactly the same. That's great. But if your door isn't level, it actually will look something like this. This could have happened for a handful of different reasons. The door could have been installed in a house that's foundation has now settled. The house itself could have actually taken on moisture at some point and the frame of the house has shifted or the door was just installed on level. First off, if you've been installing doors for decades now and this one just feels a little bit different because it's heavier or it's metal, that's actually really common and don't worry about it. If the door is still being installed, just go through our instructions and use a 12 inch level, nothing longer than that, and just get the fitment right from the start. If the door is fully installed though, we actually still do have a way of fixing the problem. Let's take the rod and the latch out of the door, but first we're gonna actually have to take the door off its hinges. Now let's unscrew the rod from the latch. So one thing to notice before we take this rod all the way out of the barrel is just how tight the clearances are on this rod while it's in the barrel. So now you can see how easy it is for a rock or dirt or dust to get in here and jam up this system, but how important it is that it stays tight.
see this one looks just like the one we had before. If this doesn't come out easily, you're likely experiencing the first issue that we talked about of your barrel being currently jammed with debris. Now, once you do actually get this out, you're gonna to wanna to inspect it for pits and bends. You're also gonna to wanna to look inside of that barrel and blow some air up there to blow out anything that could be in there that shouldn't be. But you don't wanna put water or lubricant of any type into this barrel or onto this rod. What happens more commonly than not to people who have this specific issue is that dirt and debris have gotten stuck in the barrel at their construction site or during installation itself. Oil and grease will only attract more dust and more dirt. They'll stick to the lubricant and it'll actually make the entire problem worse. The pits will be deeper, the gouges will be larger, and it'll get a lot more snags. It'll be way harder to fix. So we want to avoid that and instead, we're going to use a file like this. You'll take your file, sandpaper, or even a grinder if you're careful to not take off too much material at once, and you'll run the length of this rod. You just want to make sure that it's smooth, there are no pits, no bends, anything like that that could snag on the inside of the barrel. You can actually check your work by putting this into the barrel the opposite way and seeing if it runs through smoothly. Once the barrel is clear and you're happy with your work of how smooth this is, you can reinstall it into the barrel, put back on the latch, make sure that this is screwed back into it, put it back on your hinges and test it out. It should have solved your problem if your issue was with the latch not working because of debris or previous debris damage. However, if your issue was actually with the door jam pole not aligning with the rod, then we can actually use the same exact tools to fix the problem. Except instead of running the length of this rod, we'll actually just focus on the tip. See how it's a very flat surface right now. And that makes it really difficult for this rod to find its way into that hole since the two aren't perfectly aligned. What we'll do is we'll take down this edge and give it a little bit of a ramp on each side so that it can find its way in a little bit easier and hopefully solve your problem. I'll show you what I mean right now. So about this amount should work great for most people. This is a good medium amount. You could go more, you could go less, but this will probably work for most of you. Now let's get this back in our door, get the latch back on, and I'll show you guys actually how to adjust the height of this by just screwing and unscrewing it. So the goal here when you're screwing this in and adjusting it is to make it so when you put in this latch, it's perfectly flush with this bottom of the door. You can adjust it up or down just depending on where you screw it, up or down. So let's get this back on the hinges, make sure that it works, and we'll be done for the day. That's the whole process for today, guys. Those are the main issues that people have regarding the rods and latches. However, if you have an issue that we didn't address today, go ahead and comment that. There will be a lot more videos in the near future showing you more tips, features, and design inspirations from Pinky's Iron Doors, so stay tuned.